Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, mental health, Disney life, theater life, and whatever else I feel like talking about. So today is one of those whatever else I feel like talking about days. Um, sometimes in my videos, I like to switch it up with my makeup. I like to play around with lip color and different look, uh, eye looks and things like that. And sometimes I get questions. And so I wanted to, as we're going into spring and summer, kind of show you what I'm probably gonna be reaching for the most. Um, I'm really not somebody who shops a lot for makeup anymore, which is great. I used to be somebody who bought new stuff all the time. But I find as long as I stay out of the stores, I'm pretty good. So I wanna go through my top 10 spring and summer lip looks for you guys. So hopefully you know what I'll be wearing in my videos and if you like any of them, if you have a similar complexion or similar taste to me, you can try them out too. So let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest or most pigmented so that my lips don't get too stained. The first one I'll talk about is a Chanel gloss and this is kind of just a throw on and leave the house kind of thing. You know, this is the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in 119. I can't remember what the color is. Let me double check because I know besides a number it has a name. Oh, it's called Bourgeoisie. Okay, so this is a really nice uh, mid-tone pink. It's dusty. Let's see. It looks like some pink and bronze shimmer. It's not super sticky. Like, you can put quite a bit on and it's not... It's not doing that, um, you know what I'm saying. But it is quite thick, it's not like a lip oil. Um, I think it looks, I think when you have it on the lips, it doesn't look so much sparkly as it does in the tube. And I think it's quite elegant for a gloss. I mean, leave it to Chanel, right? But I think it's kind of a mature gloss. For me, I have a hard time wearing clear gloss because my lips really are not that pigmented and I like them to have a little more definition. So I think this gives enough life to my face. It balances out a look in a nice neutral way and it would most likely go with any kind of eye look because it's such a neutral um, color. So that is Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss 119 in Bourgeoisie. All right, this next color is something I've had for probably two years now. It's by Lancome. It's one of their matte shakers. I believe they still make these. Um, and this color is 250 Nude Delhi. And like, like India Delhi, not <laughs> Delhi where you get your meat. Okay, so it's kind of unique. You know, I thought this was a little gimmicky when I first saw it. You like shake it up and then you open it and there's a sponge and you put that on your lips, but this color is gorgeous. I wore this at my sister's wedding and for some reason, I can't even remember how I did my makeup that day. I should have done a video because it's like my favorite way I've looked in a long time. And for me, uh, so it's really wet right now. It feels really wet and it will dry down. And for me, this is the perfect spring summer nude this is pretty versatile as far as when my skin is changing shades in the spring and summer so i would suggest you check out this line because even if this is not the shade for you i think you can find one in this line if you like the formula so the formula is drying down now and it really just feels like i don't know it feels sort of like a liquid lipstick in a really really light form uh, if, if you're familiar with the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks it feels a little bit like that like so light so comfortable I hesitate to even say liquid lipstick but it dries down it dries down it looks so natural I think this is a beautiful color to wear if you're going to a wedding if you're a bride I mean this is just absolutely beautiful I love the shade so much and I think it's a way for my skin tone to rock a pinky nude as you can see, it dries down to a nice, comfortable matte finish, which I really love in my nudes. I really love that in all my lip products, really, because I'm very self-conscious about things on my teeth, in my teeth. I'm somebody who always has to check after they eat, always has to like go like this before they smile, because I just am so embarrassed whenever I have things on my teeth for some reason. I have a giant smile, so it's like, you know, I want to keep my teeth clean. So this, you don't have to worry at all. So that is the Lancome Matte Shaker in 250 Nude Deli. 
All right, so next I'll talk about another gloss. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in 12 Rosewood. And I mostly love this because the smell is incredible. It is like a sweet, sweet, sweet mint. Basically, what I understand about these is that they sort of give your lips a natural flush. So as I said, I have a hard time wearing clear glosses. I need a little bit of color. And so this, first of all, the shade is gorgeous. And I love the formula. See, now this is quite sticky, but. And this has no shimmer, it's just shine. It smells so good, y'all, oh my goodness. And this takes me back too, because my mom used to use the Color Reviver Balm, and it smelled like this too. As you can see, it's already giving my lips quite a bit of pigment. So I think this would be something great to rock, even if you had hardly anything on the eyes, hardly anything on the skin. Sometimes I wear it to bed as a, a lip oil because it's just so hydrating. I can feel though, as I'm talking, that my lips are kind of like heavily sticking together, which shouldn't be a problem if you do that little finger trick. I'm just not gonna do it right now on screen. I'm absolutely sure you could pretty much have the same color effect with a lot of different drugstore products. I just happened to pick this up when I was in New York. I kind of wanted to spoil myself. And so I'm really happy with it though. Um, I, I'm glad I got this tinted color rather than a you know one of their clearer glosses that supposedly tints to the color of your skin because this is just something I'm satisfied with this color for sure but yeah especially on a minimum makeup day this is going to give you some life to your face and that's kind of all you need if you like a whole lot of shine let me back up this gives you so much shine yes so with a liner your lips are going to look enormous and juicy trust me so that is the dior lip glow oil color reviver in rosewood I just took that gloss off. I rubbed my lips a little bit, but I will say it doesn't really stain your lips. It's not something that's gonna give you color for the rest of the day, even when the gloss part wears off. So it's really just a gloss with a nice tint to it. All right, oh, next. This is by Chantecaille, and this is a Lip Chic in Anais. This is not my usual color, okay? This is quite a peachy brown, and usually, even though I love those colors, I don't find they're very flattering on my skin. I think browner colors look really good on people with cool skin tones, as interesting as that sounds, because you would think golden and brown, but I just, I'm not sure. I think maybe if I had a deeper skin tone. Anyway, look at this. So this is called a lip chic. It comes in a, in a lipstick sort of form like this. And this is the perfect combination of a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip balm. It feels incredibly hydrating, not sticky at all, doesn't feel thick, but does feel like I've got something on my lips. It's not slippery like a balm. It doesn't feel like it's moving all over my face. It does have a light vanilla smell, but I don't think it would bother you even if you're kind of sensitive to scents. I think it kind of dissipates. I think it is another great nude. You guys can tell I like my neutrals just all year round, but I love this formula. It's light, um, it is hydrating, and I just think it's a very, very pretty color, especially as my skin starts to warm up a little bit, as I spend a bit more time in the sun. I think this is gonna be a nice summer shade and another, it's something I would totally bring along with me on vacation. It's lightweight, but I love the color payoff, and I love that it's luminous. It's So it's not completely matte, it's not flat. It gives dimension to your lips and a beautiful color. So this is Chantecaille Lip Chic in Anais. And even though it's that orangey brown, peachy, it doesn't make my teeth look yellow, so that's huge for me. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> these are all similar, but if you're somebody who likes shades like me, then this is gonna be helpful for you. This is a Kosas lip, uh, I think they're called Lip Fuel, but it's Hyaluronic Lip Balm. And Kosas is a uh, fairly green brand, so I know they're sold at like Detox Market. I know they uh, don't use a lot of chemicals or any chemicals. I'm not an expert on the brand, but I know they're considered a green, clean brand. So this is a lip balm, looks like this, and my color is Rush. 
and it comes up in this cool shape. It's not like your normal round lip balm. And I freaking love this. I love just chucking this on in the morning or if I don't know what to do with my lips, if I'm like, I don't wanna make a statement here but I want some color and I want some hydration but I don't wanna be glossy and shiny, this is it, okay? Like if I'm going on a hike, if I was going to the grocery store, if I'm doing something outdoors where I don't want hair blowing in my lip balm or lip gloss, whatever, this is the stuff. This has also a peppermint scent, which I love. This is so buttery. And this is one of those, a lot of people have asked me when I wear this on Instagram what I'm wearing. So this is really, really buttery. It's pretty pigmented, but it's nothing like, you can definitely apply it messy like I just did. I don't have a mirror, I'm just looking in the viewfinder. Um, and it's, I think it, it, it gives enough of a sheen to make your lips look bigger than they are. It has hyaluronic acid, so that's gonna draw moisture to the lips and plump them naturally. So it's not tingly in any way or anything like that. But I love this color. It's a nice, neutral, mid-tone pink, dusty pink. Guys, I'm just into the dusty pinks, okay? Um, teeth check, thumbs up, my teeth don't look yellow. <laughs> I love this minty scent, it's, it's just invigorating and I love peppermint, so it makes me really happy. It reminds me of uh, candy cane, what was it called? It was some Bath and Body Works, Twisted Candy Cane or something like that. I used to wear a peppermint, like sweet peppermint body products from Bath and Body Works when I was like in middle school and this smells like it. So I love it. Very, very hydrating but also gives you a nice bit of color, I think goes great with my skin tone. This is uh, the Hyaluronic Lip Balm in Rush by Kosas. And I will say now that I've taken that off, it's only been on for a little bit and my lips feel silky. Like they feel already so much more smooth. Sometimes I can feel, I have pretty dry lips because I'm not that good of, about drinking water, but sometimes I can feel like texture, dry skin, and my lips feel a lot smoother already from using that, so, hey. All right, so that's five, we've got five more. Okay, I would just like to tell you the secret to looking, or at least the secret to me looking like I have giant lips, at least for me, okay? I know they're not the most giant in the world, but making my lips look really big, I've been using this for five years, ever since I actually six, maybe. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, in Pillow Talk. It's iconic, it's legendary, a lot of people know about it, but uh, one time my mom and I were trying Charlotte Tilbury products in Nordstrom, and I was like, look at this product, it makes you look like you have big juicy lips, and my mom was like, are you trying to distract me from the fact that you've had lip injections? I just, I feel like you've had your lips done, and I feel like you're, you're saying it's a lip pencil, but I know you've had your lips done. I was like, I'm literally 19 and have no money. How would I? So this is a lip cheat. So uh, here's a quick tip. How This is something I wear almost every day. Under any of these lip products, because I want my lips to look even bigger. And I suppose I overline, but not, not up here because it's so obvious to me. So I heard that Marilyn Monroe rounded the corners of her lips. I started doing that about three or four years ago. I've never looked back. I do my friend's lips that way when I do their makeup and they're like, what did you do? I'm amazing, I look amazing. And I use this too. I wanna say I use this on my sister on her wedding day, I believe. I definitely used it on myself with that lawn comb. Forgive me, I am just looking in the viewfinder. <laughs> See how I'm not drawing a straight line into the corner like a little sharp thing? It's like, uh, uh, round. And you have to figure it out because obviously if you have different a different lip shape than me, it's gonna be different. If you don't naturally have fuller lips, then there are different techniques to make that work. But. The bottom, I don't overline at the corners. I think that looks clownish, but at the bottom you can cheat a little bit. But this color is like unbelievable. And you could even fill them in and just wear that. It's a little too dry for me. I don't like just wearing lip liners. It's like kind of dry and 
sticky in the sense that this is really going to help something else stay on top of it, but um, the color is amazing. This is the secret, okay? In my Instagrams, when I look like I have big juicy lips and I'm giving you Kylie Jenner, am I ever giving you Kylie Jenner? So check it out. That is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Liner in Pillow Talk. All right, we've got four more products. So this is a Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Gemini. I have had this color for a year now. I got this in Portugal last year. It smells like root beer. Everybody knows about these. The formula, all I'm gonna say is the formula is freaking excellent and this is one of the most flattering colors I've ever seen on me. Now, I will say I don't have it here. I don't know where it went, but my number one favorite lipstick of all time, all time, is NYX Euro Trash. It's one of their matte lipsticks and it's very similar to this. So if I could give my number one, it would be to NYX Euro Trash, but she's not with us right now. This is such a light formula. Whenever I have to wear like a neutral on stage, I wear this. I mean, he really nailed this formula. This is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. I only have one Jeffree Star lip product because I don't wear a lot of crazy colors all the time, but this one, sweetheart, she's so good. And yeah, it dries down to a matte, very comfortable matte, uh, doesn't move around. It's sort of like a peachy, it's, it's definitely more on the peachy nude side, but again, teeth, looking on point and I just absolutely adore the shade. I think it's great. You can wear it with a super dark eye. You can wear it with a nice clean matte daytime look. It's definitely not something I would wear on a super light makeup day. Opaque matte liquid lips. I just, I think you got to have a full face for that. But like this look, absolutely. This is totally what I would rock it with. So this is Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Gemini. Okay, now that I look actually dead because I put some powder over my lips, this is something I never would have really picked up for myself. I don't even know the context in which I bought this, but I know I bought it like two years ago. This is a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Never Say Never, and it is exactly as you see. It's a pink color, and I'm not a girl that wears a bright pink, but especially when I've got like black hair, when it's freshly colored. Oh, this is so good. So this is a nice cool toned pink. This is like bubblegum pink for people who are not just like blonde hair, blue eyes, super fair. This would work on my skin and a little bit darker. Oh my God, this would look beautiful on like a true golden, like deeper skin tone. Oh my goodness. I love this. And the formula is very comfortable. It's slippery, it's weird. It looks really matte, but it doesn't feel crusty at all. It's not gonna settle into your lip lines or look super dry, which I really like, of course. I mean, NARS always has great formulas. Um, and I just think this is great, and I think it's it's great with this little jacket if you're having a pink moment. Um, so, and this will definitely make your teeth look really white because it's cool toned. I know I keep saying this stuff about the teeth, but it's important to me, okay? So, yeah, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Never Say Never. Finally, we have a drugstore product, I'm sorry. This is the L'Oreal, what is this? Lip color, okay, well I don't know what they, they're calling this, but it looks like this, all right? And the color is called 436 Irradiate. This is like wild, right? This is like a neon coral orange color, which last summer I just decided that I was gonna pop off with the bright colors. And you'll see my last one is similar to it. Um, so I just went for it, and especially rocking the really, really dark hair, I feel like I can kill colors like this. I have to do this because I haven't brought this out since last spring because I wasn't wearing it in the winter. All right, so it's a really liquidy formula. Super, super liquidy, okay? So that's what the applicator looks like. It's really, really watery. Now you can apply it, I'll show you. 
usually I put a little bit on the lips and then I dab while it's still wet because it does dry down. All right, that wasn't a perfect application because I'm not in front of a mirror, but this is sort of that popsicle lips, Korean beauty style lip thing. Um, and so it's, it looks like more of just a bright, what is it? Not really a hot pink, but not a bright coral. It looks different than it looks here, right? So let's try it just applying it like a liquid lip. I'm gonna apply this off camera so it looks nice for you. <laughs> it's so funny how pale this makes me look. My neutrals made me look all glowy and now I look so pale. Um, so it's still drying down. It's a really, like I said, watery, lightweight formula and as it dries down, it's very comfortable. You definitely feel like you've got something on your lips but it's not a thick, chalky formula that's gonna, you know how like you get the stuff in the corner, it starts rolling, so. Very comfortable. I just want you to see how it looks when it dries down. And I really like this color. Let's see, like maybe not with my pink jacket. But yeah, I think I think this looks really nice. It's extremely bright. It's sort of like if you want to go for a tomato red, but not a true red. Um, I also think this would look amazing on... Um, Oh my god, like someone with Zabrina, you guys know Zabrina on YouTube, somebody with her complexion, like true red hair and like fierce eyes, this would look so sick on them. I think, I haven't tried it on darker skin tones, I'm not sure if you have dark pigmented lips, how it would look on you exactly, but I think if, you're, if you have a very deep skin tone, I mean this could be a stunning color to just make you look, it's sort of like when you wear those neon colors on your nails, your skin just looks so gold and golden and it pops and... So I really like this uh, this lip color. That is the L'Oreal Paris in 436 I Radiate. Now I'm trying to wipe this off. This definitely tints your lips. So nice and evenly, it looks good, but oh my gosh, this is not, not wanting to come off at all. Yeah, that's the best I could do with getting it off. So I'm gonna put a little powder around my mouth and over my lips and try to give us a pretty neutral start to this next color. Ooh, this looks like uh, maybe MAC Blankety. This is giving me throwback vibes. So this last color is like the most high pigmented of any of these. This is also something I got last year which was a sort of out of my comfort zone pick. And this is a Chanel color. This is one of their Rouge Allure inks in 170 euphorie um but this is a similar i don't know why these are similar to me let's do this so this actually it's not so similar because it's not as liquidy at all it's moussey actually that's the that's the word i would use to describe it now we can apply it in the two same ways right so just a couple dots sorry y'all i had to delete some things from my memory card but yeah we can apply it like that Not hard to move at all on the lips. And this is much more pink than this L'Oreal. But this is like, um, this is like raspberry lemonade color or like iced raspberry. I don't know, it's, it's definitely pink, but it also totally has that neon aspect to it. I don't know what it is about the colorants they add, but it's something like, this would definitely stand out under a black light. So I love this, just like I can imagine this with less eye makeup than, than I have on now. Just like a ton of mascara, healthy skin, boom. These like raspberry lemonade lips, hello. Or we can apply it full on. It's such a nice moussey formula. And that's that, full on, applied like a liquid lipstick. So this is actually quite different than the NARS. This is a cool tone and this is more in the middle and actually maybe leaning more towards warm. Oh, certainly, look at the difference between those, yeah. What this actually reminds me of when applied full on is watermelon, that type of color, like almost orangey pink and um, it definitely gives a different vibe. It's, it's less girly, straight up girly girl. This is almost a sophisticated pink and this is like, you know, summer fun, you could wear this to a pool party or something because it's just that fun, fun watermelon juicy color. And this would look sick with a gloss over it too. 
the formula is drying down. It never really gets super, super dry or like crusty. It always feels a little bit moussey, not silicone-y, but moussey. That's the only, like Dream Matte Mousse, right? By Maybelline, it's like for your lips. So that is the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink in 170 Euphorie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and fun. And let me know if you like any of these shades, if you have them, or if you're intending to try any of them. Uh, I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys.